Okay, a probability tree question. They've set it up for us. Each time Nikos has a shot at goal, the probability score is three quarters. He takes sh two shots at goal. So uh, the probability tree is going to continue. He gets a goal or a miss. A goal or a miss. Uh, he scores his three quarters, therefore he doesn't. Well, that's a quarter. Uh, and it carries on. Each time it's the same, it tells us. So three quarters, a quarter, three quarters, a quarter. Okay, um, and I'm going to fill this in. I'm not sure what I'm going to need yet, but going along the probability tree, three quarters times three quarters, that's nine sixteenths. Come on here, three quarters times one quarter, that's three sixteenths. A quarter times three quarters. So if you've got time, um, you can work all of these out, and you're probably going to need most of them. Uh, if you if you're tight for time on the paper, then then have a look at the question and see what you need to work out. But there we go. Uh, so that's goal and a goal is that goal and a mess, miss and a goal, miss and a mess. Probability of two goals. Well, we've worked that out now. Uh, two goals. That's going to be nine. Sixteenths, three quarters times three quarters, exactly one goal. Well, that's a goal and a mess and a goal and a mess. So we've got three sixteenths plus three sixteenths, uh, and that's going to be six sixteenths. Or if we simplify that down, that's three eighths. So, and I didn't talk about here, a check that we can have is that each of these add up to a whole one, so we've got 10 plus 6 sixteenths, so we should get sixteenths. So, calculated probability takes another three shots, you'll score exactly one goal or exactly two goals. Okay, so we've got a probability tree, we've got a bit of space to be able to draw it. Okay, there we go. But it's three this time. So, goal and a miss, goal and a miss, goal and a miss. through we've got three quarters and a quarter. So two or one, so that's got two, it's got two, it's got one, it's got two, it's got one, it's got one. So there's a there's a long way to do it and a slightly quicker way to do it. The long way to do it is to say, okay, and work out each of those and add them up. That's six things that I've got to work out. Uh, the quicker way to do it is actually to say, well, I could work out these ones. So that equals three quarters times three quarters times three quarters. Um, so that's 27 over 64. And I can work out a miss and a miss and a miss. So that's one quarter times a quarter. And then, because I know that they all add up to 64 out of 64, I can say the ones that I want, without doing any extra working, is 1 minus is 2, which is just a little bit quicker. Um, if you want, you can check the other way around and check that I'm right, but uh, I promise you I will be. 27 divided by 64, but it might be good practice for you to check that you can do that. Uh, and that leaves us with uh, my calculator simplifies it for me already. 9 out of 16. Or 0 0.5625 if you want it as a decimal. So let's put that on the line so the examiner can find it easily. <laughs>